everyone. This is the final attempt <laughs> that we're doing <laughs> to do this. And if you're watching this and you're kind of wondering why, like I'm saying what I'm saying, I'm trying to do a Facebook Live interview with Rohil from Houston Property Guys. But we're, we've been having crazy technical difficulties. I have no idea why, but we're, we're trying our best. Okay, we're, we're trying our best. So, uh, Rohil just came on. I will explain the situation once again, and yeah. Alright, he should be coming on in one second. But, um, there's crazy technical difficulties. So if you're watching this and you're wondering why there isn't like an ending to what I'm saying, um, just go to Instagram at Bird Dog Real Estate and you'll be able to see the rest of this video. But if not, and this video is like 20, 30 minutes long, then you're good. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about Instagram actually. And that's the reason why we are having this interview to uh, talk about the benefits of Instagram and other forms of social media. This whole situation made me so frustrated. I got kicked off of the live like three or four times. Let me see. Yeah. It, it is. It is. This is getting so frustrating. Okay, so he's on now, so let me bring my camera again. Yo, yeah. is this working now? Yeah, yeah. you're a little static, you know, though. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take out the headphones. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay, can you hear me now? Perfect. Awesome. Yo, okay, nothing, nothing no more interruptions, okay? I'm done now. with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's like Facebook, fix it. We're going to Instagram. Okay. Yo, they heard but, us. <laughs> okay, so we can go ahead and kind of get into what brought us together. Um, yep. I mean, I, I made the Instagram page, of course, and then we connected through Instagram. We followed each other and we started doing what Gary Vee said, doing the dollar eighty method, interacting with people's posts and being Absolutely. very, very active um, in yep. each other's communities. So you can go ahead and talk about um, your thing, introduce yourself. So I'm Rahel. I'm with Houston Property Guys. When I first started, I was literally, literally just trying to do wholesaling. And then I kind of got introduced to Tiara, where I saw that she built a community where there was a bunch of people just throwing leads out. There's a bunch of people just trying to connect other people. Um, and, and so it was amazing in the sense that I got connected to so many people in Houston that are doing the same exact thing, where we're just helping each other out. And so... Um, and so your community was super, super helpful to me in the sense that my first opportunity that I'm working with right now is a $2.5 million house as a real mm. estate guy. That's huge, you know? Yeah. 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 And, and, it, and it, came, it all came through Bird Dog Real Estate because you just have so many people in there that all want to help, you know? Yeah. And obviously, you know, there are some people that, you know, just come in, want to, you know, just get what they want and leave. But for the most right. part, I really, really, really like what you created. And it's definitely helped me and Houston Property Guys come on to the next level. Because without this kind of opportunity, I'm literally nothing. I, I really appreciate that because, like, I, I, t I say this in almost every conversation I have about this group, I had no intentions of making a social media audience based on real estate. Yeah. That was not in my thought process at all. My, my old business partner literally was just like, you should start a group for bird dogs. And I was like, okay. And then um, <laughs> I did. And you, you know the group um, Wholesaling Houses Full Time? Yeah. 
So I have posted in there about the first bird dog deal that me and my husband did when we made $1,500. And at that point in time, our post got the most likes and comments out of anybody. That was about two years ago. It was like yeah. nearly a thousand likes and comments, like a thousand likes and probably like 500 comments. Yeah. So it was a lot. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a lot. When you're starting out, man, even if you get one, 200, like even like three, four, five comments, it's, it's huge, right? It really is. But that type of attention, I was like, how many people like know about this because then when he said i should start a group because i was i remember looking for groups i remember looking for websites i remember doing all of that and there was really nothing there for bird dogs yeah and it's like you know some some people can pick up wholesaling immediately and they can you know be successful at it yeah but it's not like that for everybody no and it I just felt like there was some sort of disadvantage there. So I was like, well, let me start a community where people uh, who aren't really sure about wholesaling or they want they want to learn how to wholesale, but they don't have a mentor, they can't afford a mentor. Um, yes. they, just, they just need some sort of other option and they need to be introduced to bird dogging. Yeah. And it, it just exploded last year sometime. Yeah. And so, I mean, like I said, you're just providing value and that's what it comes down to yeah. right you have you yeah. built a community of people that can come together and give out all kinds of information whether it's a yeah. lead whether they need an investor whether you know they need a lender there's there's all kinds of people I, I've encountered and for me personally the most amazing thing was is that I went in the Texas group because you broke it down by state you broke it down real nice right you broke it down by yeah. state so I went into Texas and I put a, a really nice long message saying, hey, you know, I'm an investor out here in Houston. I got all kinds of uh, cash buyers that are looking to buy anywhere in Houston. So send me any kind of deals that you might have. And lo and behold, I had someone call me or send me an email, actually. And they sent me an email of about 10 people that they had already cold called and were like, hey, these are sellers that are looking to sell in Houston like motivated sellers okay. and so right. I started calling down the list um, you know I had a g- good couple few wholesale deals that were probably about ten thousand dollars spread which isn't bad right yeah and then I called Mr. Allen who's like one of the most famous guys on my on my Instagram now because I always talk about him because he's an old seven-year-old dude who's a successful dentist and he has a 2.5 million dollar mansion that was built architected by Frank Lloyd Wright who's like a big time architect in American history and so initially when I called I was like hey you know I heard that you were looking to sell your house blah 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 I was like how much were you looking to sell for and he was like 2.5 million and I was like whoa okay time out I don't know if I could wholesale something like that I don't know if that's something that's that you can just flip right so then I started doing some research and Clay who's now my partner I, I realized, I, give, I gave Clay a call and I was like, hey Clay, you know, there's a house that was architected by Frank Lloyd Wright, it's in Houston, it's on sale, you want to come look at it with me? And Clay was like, for, for, for Frank Lloyd Wright? I was like, yeah. And, he, and he, he's like the biggest Frank Lloyd Wright fan, he's seen every house of his, like there's a museum in New York City that I went and saw at Guggenheim, all constructed, all architected by Frank Lloyd Wright. So when we went in there now, and we've talked, we've talked to the owner, you know, we built a relationship with him. He was impressed with me that I'm doing something out of the box and I discovered th- him through social media. And then Clay came in and dropped his inf- uh, all his knowledge on Frank Lloyd Wright. And this, go- this guy's like, boom, you guys got the listing. You guys can sell the house. And it's, yeah. just, it's, it's been a game changer. It's been a complete, complete game changer. At that point, I've just been able to unlock so many opportunities just because I can say I have a listing of that size. And that's my first. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and it all came from, from Bird Dog Real Estate. <laughs> man, Believe it or not. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. I, yeah. Because, like... Uh, it's a lot of people they have really good leads but they just don't know what to do with them yeah and that's where people like you come in or sometimes people like me sometimes there's other buyers and other wholesalers in the group who can just take those leads 